So I'm going to use this American Express card I have in my back pocket to pay for a Diet Coke, but... Creative Commons. Share, remix, reuse. Check us out at creativecommons.org. Welcome to Boing Boing TV. I'm Shani Jardin, and I'm here at the O'Reilly Emerging Technology Conference, or eTech, in San Diego. One of the emerging technologies that people are talking about here, radio frequency ID tags, or ARFIDs. Um, they're in passports now. They're in credit cards, like this new American Express credit card. And with me here is Pablos, who's a hacker. Hi, Pablos. Hi there. And Pablos, one of the areas you've been doing some research in is the security or lack thereof in these RFID-enabled credit cards. What'd you find out? We were able to decrypt the data by getting a reader like this off of eBay for $8. On the screen, what I'm seeing is the, wow, the card name, the expiration date, the name on the card? You'll get all that data off most cards. Yeah. So now we can take that, go online, start shopping. So what does this tell you? The credit card industry understands very clearly that creating a secure system isn't really the priority. Creating a system that feels secure to the user is. In reality, it's easier for me to get numbers now than it was before with the old old card. Now all I got to do is get near your ass with my reader. OK, I, I see that you have a wallet sitting here. This almost looks like uh... So that's a, that's a stainless steel wallet that you can put a card like this in <laughs> if you're total paranoid. Um, you wow, can... you're not kidding. So I'm going to put this American Express card in here. You put it in there. Chip, and now we're going to try to swipe it again. Right, the thing won't beep at all. There's no beeping. Yeah. So the answer to credit card companies trying to pass off our fids is stick everything inside tinfoil. There you go. <laughs> tinfoil hats for your credit cards. I don't expect this to be the major threat for a while. People are stealing credit card numbers from websites, and that's still pretty easy. So. But the point is that there are, there are more and more ways to leak yeah, that information without knowing it. Well, plus it's a passive surveillance system. You know, with a bigger antenna hooked up to this, I can go into Starbucks and get the name of everybody there. Creative Commons is designed to save the world from failed sharing. A Creative Commons license can cover anything that copyright covers. Every license says, you need to give me attribution. The basic choices are commercial use or not. Can you make derivative works? And do you want me to have to share alike? So if I take your stuff, do I have to offer it to the next person under the same terms? Well, what's happening here is I've got a reader just like at the store. Right. This is just a bunch of cables to convert the interface to USB, that's just geek stuff, but that's not hard. Sure. All I have to do is just get near you with my reader. You may not even know it's happening, and I've got your credit card numbers. So in fact, even though it's supposed to be more secure, they've in fact made it easier for me to steal credit card numbers. So the accessibility of devices that can read the data and the clustering of different kinds of data, that, right. that, that those two factors combine to make yeah, people Yeah, unfortunately, vulnerable. I mean, a, a secure system would have had the decryption happen way back in a banking institution in a secure data center. Instead, what's happening is it's being decrypted right there on the counter. So right now, you actually have to walk up yeah, right with the laptop and swipe Get up to your behind. ass with my <laughs> credit card reader. In the future, I hope to be able to do it without even uh, getting anywhere near you. Wow.